Hi everyone, welcome to the next section of this lesson which is the continuation of creating and managing the Ansible variables. In the previous lesson we created and managed the Ansible variables outside of our playbook file and the in the order of precedence it fell in number 4. So in this lesson we are also going to continue um, to create and manage the Ansible variables outside of a outside of a variable file and this time around we're going to look at number six in the order of precedence and number six is inventory groups underscore var slash star so star will mean which means um for individual groups so it can be inventory group underscore var slash it can be group one so you depending on on how you grouped your nodes in your inventory file so this can be for example production group development group but in our own inventory file i remember that we have a um, group one so we're going to do for group one in our case let's view the inventory group again so here if I cut our inventory file, we can see that we have group one. So depending on what you have, um, you can also do that in your environment. So and in group one, we have the two, these two nodes, which is HQS dev one and the local host. So to do this, um, we're going to create the variable file and define the variable files. And to do that, we can just do VIM group vars. In this time around, we're going to be having group 1. So we can copy the inventory file. So let me just copy the inventory file, um, the, the variables we had in call. So I'm just going to quickly copy it. So now that we've been able to copy this, we can do a playbook syntax check. And to do that, of course, it's going to be Ansible playbook my third playbook syntax check. So this is fine. Now let's run our playbook. I'm going to pause the video when this is done I'm going to resume the video so this is done and everything is fine uh, we don't have any field task so let's move this example forward again so what we're going to do is to create um, a variable for individual host and this should fall in number nine which is inventory host underscore vas slash star so for the individual host, this, this slash star means that if the host is hqsdev1.techni.com, so it's going to be host slash hqsdev1.techni.com. If the host is, for example, um, local host, it's going to be local host. So that's why you have um, star here. So whatever the host name is, you will need to include the host name here. So let's create a variable file for individual host and in this case our own is going to be hqsdev1.techni.com So what we can do is to make the directory which is host underscore vars and then we can put the file in this directory hqsdev1.technit com so I can include let me just copy and include it here
so in the packages i can also include one more uh one more package um let's include g disk all right so that's how you can you know begin to increase your variable and that's why it's advisable you have an external variable file so wherever thing you want to include you can include it in your variable file so let's save this file and now we can run our playbook I'm going to pause the video and when it's done, I'm going to resume the video. So this is done and we are fine. We don't have any changes. So apparently um, we have GDisk already installed on both uh, on both nodes, localhost and the hksdev1.technic.com. So we've been able to, def to define variables in three or four different ways now. And let's also look at another method of defining the variable uh, defining variables in Ansible. This is going to be number 14, which is playvas underscore file. So here is number 14. And don't forget, like I've always told you, they follow each other um, when it comes to order of precedence. So the last one will take the higher precedence over the uh, previous one. To do this example, I uh, want to create another playbook file. So let's create another playbook file. Let's call this my fourth playbook.yml. So here, of course, I can have my three dashes if I want. And the name of the playbook, I'm going to give it a name and say create users where I want it on hqsdev1.technic.com and I'm going to use the variable which is vas underscore files I'm going to call the variable name classified so the variable name is going to be classified I can use any name I'm just going to say classify.yml and then I'm going to have the task. I'm going to have the task here and I can give the task a name. So I can just say create users and passwords. And to create user, of course, I'm going to use the user, the user module. And I'm going to use some arguments. Username. And the password. Password. And state percent. So after doing this, we've given a variable name which is classified.yml. We need to create this variable, and we also need to create uh, these dictionaries in this variable, which is username and password. So let's do that. So I can say vim classified dot yml and here i'm going to define the variables which is username so let's create a username called tayo and password i can just say um toyota and i can save the file so let's do an um ansible playbook syntax check And let's run the playbook.
all right so you can see this is fine we see one in the input password appears not to have been hashed the password argument must be encrypted for this module to work properly so this is talking about en encryption well as we go on in this course we'll look at how to encrypt a password in ansible but anyways this is fine the user has been created and you can see that it has we have just one changed value and we have um zero field task so this is another way you can um, create variables in ansible so here is another method that we had to define the variable outside of a playbook like i said i'll be dropping the link to this website in the description section below so you can check the website check this particular lesson and you know see how we did this and you can also do the class activity here as well so you can drop your comments in the description box in the comment section box either on this website or here on the youtube channel so um, this is how you can create you can always create um, ansible variables and i want to say thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe like share and comment this is how you can encourage us to do more for you. Thank you once more and bye for now.